Hi, I'm Mike Gibson, and this is Expat in Russia. I've lived in Russia for 27 years, and I totally love this place. So I thought it's time to share some Russian stories with you. This is a big country with a big heart and big stories to tell. Today we're visiting the main park of the Russian capital, Gorky Park. This place is a legend. It has been made famous by books and even a Hollywood movie. When I first came to Moscow, I only knew of two places in this city, Red Square and Gorky Park. Today, Gorky Park, in my opinion, is the most trendy and most visited park in Moscow. It's a tip-top, world-class park that redefines just exactly what a city park can be. Here is the iconic arch at the entrance of Gorky Park, which is a Moscow landmark. It was built in 1955, and we're going to go inside. So there's a cosy and uh, very interesting little museum here all about Gorky Park and an observation deck on top. Oh, wow. Gosh, that's a very famous sculpture. It's called Women with a Oar, and it's a copy of the original eight meter high sculpture that was placed in the park back in 1936. And we're going upstairs to the museum. This is the first and only Gorky Park Museum in Moscow. Here you can find out what the park was like in Soviet times and even what was here before. There are a bunch of historic photos and videos in the exhibition. Here is a model of the parachute tower that was in Gorky Park in the 30s. It was a very popular attraction and you can see it on many old pictures of the park. So here's a great interactive map showing the evolution of Gorky Park over the last three centuries. It's fascinating. Ooh. And this is where we are now, the arch. At the top of the museum, there's a great little exhibition about the history of the ice rink at Gorky Park. It's been here for 90 years and used to be called the Zerkalny Katok, or the Mirror Ice Rink. This year is the first year it's returned to its old name. Ah, uh, so here we are on the observation deck on the top of the arch. Oh, it's a chilly Russian winter day. See all of Moscow and over there behind me is the park. Gorky Park was founded in 1923 as an all-Soviet exhibition for the achievements of the Soviet Union. Behind me is the original machine hall, a ruin, which will soon be renovated. A little later, in 1928, the park was transformed into the central park of culture and recreation. And four years later, it was named after the Russian and Soviet writer Maxim Gorky. In recent years, the territory of Gorky Park has grown significantly. So here we are at Muzion, which is an interesting and creative outdoor space that is part of Gorky Park. So for example, here we have the new wing of the Tretikov Gallery. And also Museon has a big collection of sculptures, including these contemporary avant-garde sculptures and many old Soviet sculptures. During a tour of the park, the English writer H.G. Wells called Gorky Park a factory that makes people happy. And a world-famous rock band wrote a song featuring this place. <laughs> of course, Gorky Park was the inspiration for the Scorpion song, Winds of Change. Follow the Moskva down to Gorky Park, listening to the winds of changes. That song came out in 1990 whilst I was a student at Oxford and it made a huge impression on us all as the world was changing at the end of the Cold War. At that time, the Scorpions came out to Moscow, gave a huge concert and went on a party on a boat on the Moskva River down to Gorky Park and the song was born. Ah, nice and warm in here. So this is a little yellow bus full of information about what to do and find in Moscow. Hello. Tell me, what do you have here in front of you? Lots of beautiful things. This is information, touristical center where mm -hmm. you can find everything. Uh, 
you can take Moscow map, uh -huh. uh, where you can find information about the most popular places in Moscow. Do many people ask you about this song? Oh, this is a Scorpions. About Gorky Park. Gorky Park. We are in Gorky Park now. Winds of change. change. I like this song. It's a great song. <laughs> so when we use and put winter to good use, and you'll really love it. When you come to parks like Gorky Park, you discover the incredible ice sculptures and snow sculptures. They're awesome. There's always stuff happening in Gorky Park. Right now, the international festival Snow and Ice is taking place. There'll be 50 sculptures made of ice and snow and made by artists from different countries. В общем, мы делаем ёлочные игрушки и ёлочные ветки. То есть это не целиком ёлка, это вот композиция из веток и игрушек. Игрушки старые советские. Мы как бы решили напомнить людям немножко о советском прошлом, о детстве нашем. И скажи про про что здесь было сначала? Ну, как бы все скульптуры строятся по одной как бы, схеме. Это такие кубические формы, фермы называют их. Они засыпаны снегом, их трамбуют плотно. Вот, снег прессуется, он становится очень твердый. И потом конструкцию убирают, и мы из этого режем уже. Цикается все лишнее, как говорил Николанджело. And of course, the favorite attraction in the park during winter is the ice skating rink. Oh, I love this place. It's actually like a frozen you can go anywhere in this place. It's like total ice skating freedom. No arena kind of like keep you all locked in. It's like just skate where you want. And that's where I'm going. See you. <laughs> Digital Christmas tree. Right, carry on. That was fantastic. We've had an amazing day in Gorky Park and done and seen so much. We really hope you've enjoyed Expatting Russia. And please do subscribe and come back and watch us again. Bye. Filming! We're filming! Hooray! Little Sony camera. It's on the street and it's on the street. Okay. Going down. Oh.